The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to take a look at the German DAX. You put up the 60-minute, and then I also put up the weekly. You can see here we're up at a double top area. Quite a few ABCD patterns uh, are there, much like they are in some of the other markets. So we will uh, keep watching that. We want to take a look at the... Uh, the FTSE here too, folks, because I think that's important. It's a little bit weaker, as you can see. Let me get this up here to take a look at it, and then you'll be able to see that. Now I have to report something very sad, folks. Uh, my One of my mentors, Dr. Ruth Miller, passed away last night at the age of uh, 97. She's been under uh, Alzheimer's care for quite a while now. The last five years, she's basically been uh, out of it, but uh, she's... Uh, She's going to be missed. She sure helped a lot of people. She was really a great lady. I, uh, she she uh, taught uh, economics uh, at Indiana State University when I was there, and I had her son, John, and uh, excuse me, her sir, husband, John, uh, and her, his name was Turner. Her maiden name was Turner, but uh, John Turner and uh, her, his son, uh, Jerry, uh, were uh, – very, very close to me. I ran their soybean hedging operation for many years, and in 1976, we made a great deal of money, and uh, they stayed with me through Drexel years and all that stuff, so uh, it was fun, and, and John passed away many, many years ago, and she remarried, but uh, she was a big help to me, uh, teaching me about astrology, and it's really ironic, because uh, if you'll know, remember the top in the market in 1987 took another financial astrologer from us, that was the uh, George Lindsay, the very clair clairvoyant guy that was on Louis Rukeyser all the time, he, he died on the high of the stock market. I'm not saying this is the high of the stock market, but it was it was amazing that uh, it, it was uh, very very interesting. Um, I, t I talked a little bit about yesterday about, you know, the similarities between what I see in 09 and 1974 and 1982 and some of these things. Uh, yes, Steve, she had a good long life. She really did. Uh, I, I have so many memories of uh, the Turner family. It was really great. They used to eat at my grandmother's restaurant, um, Louise's down in Terre Haute, and they would go in there and eat all the time. And my mother used to, she was, a, my mother was a waitress there and she waited on them for, for many, many years. But, uh, anyway, she's, uh, she, she's, she's in a good place. I'm sure she is. She never said a bad word in her life. And she, all she ever did was to try to help people. And, uh, she was a really nice, uh, Really nice lady. Uh, okay, let's uh, move on here and talk a little bit uh, about. We have uh, Norm Winsky will be our guest at the break, and we'll have uh, to talk to him about this uh, lunar eclipse and full moon. The full moon here in the desert tonight, folks, is uh, you don't even need lights. It's so bright. It's it's really spectacular. Very very nice. All right, let's go on to. Uh, Oh, by the way, uh, uh, David uh, White was uh, posting in there about uh, the situation when we were in Barry Lynn's office back in 1984, when uh, you know the guy said that, uh, that it was. I, I remember the guy's name. He was a, he was a Gan guy, and he said that the uh, what was his name? Oh, he's a very famous guy. Ah. Uh. Well, not super famous, but there were about eight or eight of us there, and he was really extolling the fact that beans couldn't go below whatever the price was. And uh, <laughs> uh, anyway, he said, "Watch," and he sold. Uh, no, it wasn't Jerry Favors. No, 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 no. Jerry Jerry Favors was not a Gan guy. Z. Uh, Jerry Favors was a uh, uh, three peaks in a domed house. George Lindsay. Uh, is who, what he did. He was in uh, Columbus, Ohio. Extremely, uh, uh, the problem was he smoked about three packs of cigarettes a day, and all he did was work, pretty much like what uh, what I do. Know what uh, W.D. Gann did? That's what his uh, two sons that I talked to him uh, to that. When I talked, when we talked to two of his sons back in the in the 70s, when Jimmy uh, Twentyman and I were at Drexel, uh, the uh, 
the, the boy said all they ever did was work. He said he 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 just did all he worked all the time. Any vacation he took would be to, you know, some uh, site like Egypt or some other place. So spent very little time with the family. His daughter, Gan's daughter, wouldn't even speak to us. But the one Gan son was a dentist. The other one was a broker, bond broker at Dean Witter. And so we were able to talk about that. And he did not have he did not have fifty five million dollars, but he did have a substantial uh, uh, what do you call it uh, inheritance when uh, when he passed away. I think he left about three hundred thousand dollars in nineteen fifty four when he died, and he had a big house and a, and a, a little uh, uh, a yacht like the coffee bean. And uh, so anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'm, I'm meandering on here, folks, because I'm uh, trying to come up with a, uh, a situation to talk to you about the gold market. If you'll remember, let's just walk through the gold market just a little bit because we, we were bringing this to your attention uh, as best we could. Let's get this up here. We'll see the daily first. This was the one where you can see the very clear ABCD pattern that is there. But the really important one in the gold market, folks, is the next one that I'm going to be showing you. And that is the weekly chart here in the gold. And you'll notice here, if you go back to the high that we made back in uh, August of uh, 2011, when we hit 1932, we came down, made a low in uh, 2015 at uh, 1,050, and then we rallied 61% yesterday. The 61% retracement on that whole move was uh, 1605, I believe, and we got to 1611. So that pretty much tells us that that 61% retracement, and we've given back more than $70. Uh, actually, about seventy dollars. When we went from sixteen ten, when we went about sixty five, we went two two harmonic numbers down. We went down uh, a little more than uh, just a little less than seventy bucks. Harmonic number is thirty two, so two times that was just about right. And then the rally that we've had so far this morning, we went down to fifteen forty, and we rallied up seventeen dollars to fifteen fifty eight. That's telling you that those numbers are are still in vogue. So if we can get above fifteen sixty now, then this could be a pretty significant bottom in the gold market. We'll have to wait and see. But if we make new lows, uh, we're we're heading lower and lower. And you know the platinum doesn't look that good, even though it did hold support at nine sixty. The low has been nine fifty three, I believe. It's held up pretty well. And silver still doesn't look very good. It, it rallied up to a 50% retracement. So I will say this. If we get above that high of 1610, 1611, whatever it was, uh, this gold will make new highs. It'll take out. It'll take out $2,000 an ounce if we could do that. And there's a possibility because the Fed is in there pumping stuff, uh, pumping money into the economy, in there, and everybody's putting it into the stock market. And that, that's one that will never go down, right? So we'll, we'll find out whether that's going to be the case or not. So we'll keep a close eye on some of these as we walk out the door of uh, one uh, opportunity and into the door of another opportunity. This is what I'm looking at, folks, in the uh, stock market. I'm going to just bring this up. This is where we were here. I'm not going to bring this up anymore. Um, this is the, uh, oh, we'll take a break. 877 If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Taz Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're back, and I've had a question about the situation when we were in Chicago sitting in Barry Lynn's office back in 1984. It was uh, Mark Douglas and I, and uh, there was Barry Lynn was in there. Jack Waldock, uh, Lynn Waldock was in there. He's the one, the bean trader that sold uh, the 200 contracts. He was already heavily short, and uh, that was the situation that happened. So uh, Jack Waldock was a hog farmer over in Ohio, and uh, really, really nice man. Barry Lind, we lost Barry Lind a few years ago in Palm Springs. He was helping a woman uh, uh, change a tire on a car, and he got hit by a drunk driver, uh, an illegal alien coming in out of uh, Tijuana. And uh, he was killed instantly. And uh, very, very nice man. Barry and I were the were the same age. I have, I have an interesting story, folks. I think you might like this. Uh, when I first went to Chicago uh, in nineteen in August, in April of night, well, I went there in yeah, was it no, it was February February of eighty two is when I went to Chicago. They started trading the S and P on April the sixteenth of nineteen eighty two. And uh, when I got there, I was going to uh, you know trade through uh, Lynn Waldock because we had done, I'd done a lot of business with them over the years at Drexel in cattle and hogs and bell, a lot of bellies and a lot of cattle hogs and bellies and grains. I did all that through very, uh, Lynn Waldock. Anyway, uh, he asked me into his office. It was just he and I, and he says, what can I do to make your stay here in Chicago you know, more enjoyable and more profitable? And I said, uh, Barry, I said, the one thing that would really help me is if, you, if, if on my equity run, I've been in position for three days and I'm losing, if you'll just take me out on the opening of the fourth day. He said, we can program that. He said, yes. He said, I'll be happy to do that for you. And folks, over the next uh, three years that I was there, it happened about four times. And each time that runner would come up to me and said, hey, you've, we've got a notice here to take this position off. Do you want us to do it or do you want to do it? And I said, just take it out. And I'll tell you, folks, if I would have reversed all of those positions, I, it would have been really, really a spectacular move. So that three-day rule it works pretty good, especially if you're using pattern recognition. These things work either right away or they don't work at all. That's, uh, you know, that's the bottom line. And here, as we sit here today with the uh, markets going crazy to the upside, 
Uh, and, uh, you know, and th this is crazy. You stop and think what happened. You know, we were up over 100 handles from where we were when the first uh, uh, conflict hit over in Iraq, but that's it. So we'll see, you know, what's going to be happening here with uh, these things. But as we come into this, and I mentioned this day of, uh, oh, I posted it. Uh, you, you'll see that it was posted again, just in case there, somebody might have missed it. This is what I'm looking at here as far as the astrology stuff to— uh, to, to see what the, okay there's a, there's your see this is where we are or this is where we were on March 5th of 2009 uh, we're, we're pretty much looking at pretty much the same thing we got five conjunctions and uh, conjunctions coming up here in the next few days and uh, that's going to be interesting to look at uh, Norm Winsky was kind enough to forward this to me and I'll bring it up to show you there's a little bit of a difference but there's still a lot of bit a lot of things happening uh, astrological. Uh, to me, that means a great deal because uh, I got started in the astrology part with Dr. Miller because of what happened in 1974. And uh, 1974, we had multiple conjunctions and oppositions in both October and December because of the retrograde motions of the markets. And uh, that's pretty much uh, what we're looking at. I have not, I do not have updated charts of Apple and Google, but let's take a quick look at them here. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to uh, to see where we are. A lot of these have gone higher. I'll give you. Well, they have to have gone higher because of the fact that you know the markets went crazy after the, there's a fact. Here's Google. We'll get this up here. I believe Google has made new much much new high. Apple's 307. Wow. That one was sure didn't work. But that was that would have been the, my the, the final one would have been it. And here's the apple. You know, we'll see. Wow. Look at this. You should, talk about when ABCDs fail. Look at this, folks. Uh, it, it, we had an ABCD up there at uh, 290, 289, and now we're at 307. You know, so uh, when patterns fail, folks, they really fail. So 419 in Google, 1419. So we've, we've rallied another $70. Wow. Everybody likes this stuff. That's good. So we'll see what's going to happen. So I hope that helps. Uh, 307 pre-market. Okay. We'll keep a, keep a close eye on that one for sure. All righty. Now let's move. I'll just post this thing from 1974 again so you can see, you know, these things that uh, we were looking at because this was, a, this was a major bottom in these things. Uh, that this is what I think, Gator. I don't know. I don't really know. All I know is when 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 Dr. Miller showed me this, uh, you know, I was really it really impressed me because it showed me the dates of these times, and it's happened. You know, we're going back to 1974. I can only think of five times this has happened, and each time, it's been something you know pretty spectacular. And we're we're looking at, uh, you know, we're looking at some a lot of lot of planetary things happening here. You know, so whether it means a whole lot or not, I don't know. But all I do know is I'm looking at a pattern here this morning like this morning here this is the uh, get this up here to take a quick look at it this is the uh, hold on up here this is the Nasdaq uh, over the last week you can see the three drive to a top pattern here uh, we've gone up we're almost uh, we, we hit uh, 8995 we're probably 899950 we didn't quite hit 9000 I sold it I put the stop above 9000 by a couple points and uh, only because of that pattern and the fact that we're in the zone for all this astrology stuff I have to probably try it oh three or four times before I get it right but when I do get it right you know markets that go straight up come straight down usually and this market is, uh, you know, certainly do it. We're, we're losing an open interest in the NASDAQ almost every day. So there's new, no new buying coming in there. That's for sure. Now, the one thing that's a caveat here is the fact that the Fed could be, you know, monetizing the debt and just throwing money at this. But if they do, then the money is going to be spread out over other things. And so there's going to be a big inflationary uh, gafu here pretty soon because that money's got to go somewhere unless they just take money out of the equation, which could possibly be. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, someone's asked a question about the conspiracy theory uh, that Dudette brought into the thing yesterday about uh, the, the Iran's really wanted to have, uh, Iranians wanted to get that uh, gentleman, Soleimani, out of the picture. So they said, take him out. And when they did, they fired 15 ballistic missiles into uh, the two air bases. And folks, how can they fire 15 missiles and not kill anyone? Can you, someone can explain that to me? That is just uh, ridiculous. And now there's all kinds of things going on about the Iranian Airlines plane that was it. Oh, by the way, folks, I meant to mention to you, 
tomorrow or today tomorrow is the full moon and lunar eclipse and it's also known as a wolf moon and the reason why is the wolves howl on the full moon more than ever if you ever come out to tucson and go over to sabino canyon you can hear the coyotes in there uh, on the full moons and boy they certainly are and the little pups out there when the the, the baby uh, uh, coyotes, oh my gosh, do they make a lot of noise when they're feeding. You just can't believe it. Okay, 150% market cap to GDP is 140%. Wow. That's really amazing, folks. That's a very interesting. Well, we'll see what happens. We'll be able to see. Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you and your daily trading in larry's first week alone he sent out 25 charts six videos and a full report to his subscribers in just one week if you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade then larry's service fibonacci 24 7 is something that you must try right now new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee with nothing to risk sign up now to larry pesavento's fibonacci 24 7 by visiting the front page of tfnn.com under trading newsletters the Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and I believe we have Norm Winsky on the line from Astro Trends. Norm, are you there? Yes, sir, Larry. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, my friend, take the mic. The show is yours. Okay, thought I'd review. Uh, we had a solar eclipse on the wee hours of December 26th, right after the Christmas holiday. Thought we'd take a look at that because that's, you know, that's kind of related to what's coming up tomorrow with a lunar eclipse. See if this stuff is working or not. See if there's anything going on. And that was in the sign of Capricorn, so it will be, uh, which is strongly indicated for what's coming up here over the next couple of days. So let's 
take a look at coffee for back on the around the 26th. As you see on the chart here at the top of my page one, uh, market traded into a little wedgy uh, uh, pattern there, uh, the apex being right on the 26th. That often happens when you get a wedge or a triangle formation right to the <coughs> key date. Broke out on the 27th to the upside, and as you bought the breakout, you had a chance to make a couple of handles there on coffee. Moving on ahead here, copper was the even better. You caught the pretty much close to the top of the copper market there, back on the solar eclipse. The green arrow indicates where that would be. I put a red box here to indicate that because the corn was going absolutely sideways, I don't do sideways, because uh, good old uh, our good old friend Isaac Newton said, for every action there's an opposite equal reaction, and if the market's going sideways, you can't expect much uh, on the other side of the your key date. Okay, time is the most important thing I look at. Mr. Gann told us that the key times will give us the key prices. Oh, by the way, I want to go back to coffee just for a moment. Sorry about that. But this is one of our going to be one of our top featured markets for the coming events here. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. But notice we had this rally all the way from, I think, October and uh, all the way from, I think, the 95 area, 95 and a half or so, rallied to 142 and a half into mid-December, and now we've been coming down, down, down. And if you do a 618 retracement, that points to around the 113 area. We're only five handles away. We could easily do that here in the next one to two days, okay? So uh, we'll, we'll get to more of that in, uh, in just a few minutes. Here's the goal. Did not really respond. And so we take a miss on that one with a red arrow. Silver was a little better, rallied up there, made a little bit of a short-term top. Had an opportunity to make some small money there by selling the silver near the solar eclipse. There's your beans. Again, you had a little bit of opportunity. If you hung in there, went a few pennies against you, but then it eventually went your way. Uh, here's your wheat. was really nice. Wheat came down and made a nice pullback low there right on the eclipse and then rallied back up. There. So that was a beautiful one there. That's the P may go back and look at your charts this because the, the market has moved so much, the scaling is kind of small. But uh, you did make a little bit of a short-term top there on the 27th, right on the next day. Bonds made the same thing, made a short-term top right on the uh, on the 27th there. There's your eclipse on the 26th. And moving ahead here, here's the dollar. That was really nice. Made a nice top there for the dollar on the right on the 26th. Here's your euro made, as you would expect, be a mirror image of the dollar. And it made a bottom right there, right around the 26th. Here's your yen was even better. Look at that beautiful bottom there in the yen. So now let's move ahead and look at uh, how my planetary index kind of related to the uh, Bradley model. But I do uh, do things a little differently. I just started changing the Bradley model back when I stumbled on Brewster Bradley back in the early 70s. And there we go. I draw the blue line a couple of weeks ahead of the month. There's December, starting on Monday the 2nd, ending on Friday the 27th. And I drew the blue line, blue line and then overlaid the black 10-minute uh, bar chart for the S&P on top. And I think that's a pretty good correlation there. I Actually, that's per scale, I, that's actual scale on the black bars there, you know. All right, now let's take a look at something I don't talk about very often. I do fractals. I take the look, take the price action in January, extrapolate it out for the year. Look at the corn. It's unbelievable. That's all I did. I published these blue bars back in February, to be exact, the February 11th of 2019 for the whole year. Then I overlay the prices, and you can see there, that's a pretty nice correlation there where the corn said we'd be making a low in the first quarter. Go up and make a high around June, right around the third week of June, and then down, and then chop, chop, chop sideways. That's pretty much what happened. Here's the OJ. How about Billy Ray and Lewis? They're happy with this one. Look at that. The blue bar said we were going down, down, down for the OJ all year, and that's what happened. Here's the Dow Jones. Look at that. Did the same thing for the Dow Jones. There we go. Nice correlation there with the blue bars and the black bars. 
Okay, and this is not astrological, by the way. It's purely based on the price action. The markets are fractal. That means you take a little piece of it and you extrapolate it out for the bigger picture, and it works. Look at the, look at the wheat there. Wheat, uh, ironically or paradoxically, whatever you call it, made a big W for the year, and that's what was forecasted. Big W for wheat, I guess, right? <laughs> All right, moving on ahead. Here's what's coming up. It's huge. So anyway, we have, starting this morning, we have uh, Saturn, 120 degrees from the U.S. Saturn. That's based on where the plants were on July the 4th, 1776. I know it sounds crazy, but it works. And we have all these things. You know, uh, uh, that's AM is morning. AC is after the close this evening. We have heliocentric from the point of view of the sun. Saturn is going to line up with Pluto. That only occurs every about on average 33 and a half years now uh, you're probably wondering and we also have the geocentric version coming up here over the weekend so they're only a couple days apart and it's all occurring as you'll see down here everything's bunched up in the sign of capricorn okay today by the way is the 9th of january you talked about the king's birthday yesterday well president nixon's birthday is today and mr president nixon Famously said in 19, uh, 1973 on his birthday, had a press conference and somebody noticed the Dow Jones had broken out over the magic thousand mark, which I had trouble doing ever since it kissed there, first kissed there on February the 9th, 1966. This is seven years later. It couldn't get, get over a thousand and stay there, but it temporarily did that. And so a reporter asked President Nixon what he thought of the economy. Uh, the, or the stock market. And President Nixon famously said, if I weren't president, I'd be buying stocks. All Americans should buy stocks. Okay? <laughs> you do it Presley, I do a Nixon uh, there, Larry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. Anyway, so uh, the, and what happened was two days later on the 11th, of January 11th, 1973, the stock market topped out and went into what became the worst bear market since the 1930s. So that's kind of a, a, a lesson there in math psychology. The president said to buy stocks right at the top of the market. So anyway, so that's kind of an uh, interesting thing. So we have uh, all these things lined up, Jupiter, uh, huge stuff for the U.S. natal chart. That's taking a snapshot of the planets back on July the 4th, 1776. We also have the uh, uh, Saturn-Pluto conjunction tomorrow afternoon about 2.21, I believe, Eastern time. We got a lunar eclipse. Over the weekend, we have Uranus. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The gold report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. 
To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, we're back, folks, with Norm uh, Winsky from uh, Astro Trend. Do you want to continue, Norm? Yes, sir. Thank you, Larry. So I was saying we had this huge... Uh, cluster of plant astrological planetary activity here over the next two trading days into the weekend and we as talking about where so here's the markets there's your shopping list if you can take a screenshot on this this will probably be very helpful uh, but we're going to be looking at your u.s because of the u.s natal chart that's taking a snapshot of the planets on july the 4th 1776 and all that's happening there we got we want to watch u.s stocks d-bonds dollar also because of saturn pluto we got the cocoa coffee. Notice that's highlighted. Hogs, stocks, D-bonds again. And then we also have, let's see what else we have. Of course, with the lunar eclipse, that's a full special kind of full moon. You want to watch your, you round up the usual suspects, financials, grains, precious metals, coffee, and especially silver and stocks for that. And then we have Uranus. If that weren't enough, any one of these would be huge. It's triple huge, I guess, because we have Uranus turning direct in the sign of Taurus the bull over the weekend, and that's going to be cattle, as you might guess. Copper is Uranus, cotton is Taurus, and stocks. And then we have more U.S. stuff, more U.S. stuff. There's your Saturn, geocentric Saturn Pluto over the weekend. So, again, that's cocoa, coffee, hogs, stocks, and tea bonds. Here's the astrological map for midday tomorrow. You see how everything's bunched up there. There's Jupiter, there's the sun, there's Mercury all bunched together there. And there's Saturn and Pluto just minutes apart. And that only occurs every 33 and a half years when Saturn and Pluto get together. And you might wonder, when they're in, all in Capricorn. You might wonder how often does that occur? I had to go back through 600 years of data to find the last time Saturn and Pluto were in Capricorn. As as it turns out, it was uh, 200, no, cancel that. It was uh, 502 years, January the 3rd of 1502. 15, 15, hey, let me, I wrote it down. Hold on a second. Uh, I'll have that in a second here. I wrote it down, I wrote it down. Where did I write it down at? There we go. I got my little note here. And, oh, there it is, January the 3rd, 1518. 1518, you probably remember that, Larry, right? Yeah, okay, there we go. I think you were doing uh, some soybean trades that day. Uh, there we go. Okay, so there we go. There's the picture there. It's huge. So hopefully you got your shopping list here. Look for the markets that are at the biggest extreme in this window, and there's a high likelihood that they're going to reverse by Monday. If they don't, like Larry says, it, if it doesn't work, if it's a small percentage of time that it doesn't work, then we're looking at a huge acceleration, you know? Okay. So here's how to get a hold of me. I got free classes so you can learn how to day trade. I do. I day trade. I got to the day trading uh, down to the one to two minute window. And we tell you in advance when to, when to look at the markets based on the planets, and it works pretty well. And there we go. And I can got an advanced class for the swing trading. I can teach you fractals. I got the fr the fractal results are going to be coming out in February for 2020. Got the fractal results for 2019. And here's how to get the hold of the norm. There we go. I'm in sunny Naples, Florida. There's my phone. Take a snicker screenshot shot of that if you can. 239-594-3939 for the folks on the radio. 
And there's Ann Winskett, EmbarkMail.com with a Q in the middle, not a G. That's Embark like root beer. And Skype is Ann Winskett underscore one. Got any questions there from the Tiger Dan Larry? No, I think you've covered it pretty well, Norm. We want to thank you for joining us, and uh, we want to wish you a very, very happy new year. And uh, we'll talk to you again soon. All right. Happy New Year, everybody. Hope to hear from you real soon so we can get you in the queue for the next uh, cycle of classes. I usually do these monthly, so get a hold of me right away. Okay? Okay. Thanks a lot, Norm. All right. Good luck. Good luck getting through the next few days, everybody. All right? Okay. Thank you. All right, folks. Uh, well, he gives us a little recap of what's happening these few days, so it's going to be very, very interesting, uh, to say the least. So that's what's important. By the way, those of you folks that are trading uh, the crude oil, I'm watching a very, very short-term uh, little pattern happening right now in crude oil. There's a tiny little three-drive pattern, but it's so small I'm reluctant to even uh, bring it to your attention. But since I did, but since I did, uh, just be really careful because if it's good, it won't go below $50. $59 a barrel if it's in fact uh, if it's act actually a very good one or not but we've had this big big drop here uh, in crude oil folks over the last several days and uh, we are setting almost exactly at the 61 percent retracement let me just bring this up here wow this is an actually pretty good one let's move up here just to take a look at it to let you folks look because this is a little on the five minute chart there's a three drive to a bottom there we're sitting right at the 61% retracement there at 59.15. So we're trading at 59.25. So anything below 5,900 would be, uh, you know, relatively bad. Now we've got a, you know, that daily chart in the crude oil. We were we were alerting to you the fact that it had a great deal of resistance up there uh, at that level that it hit. You that was a 61% retracement, and we've dropped. Believe it or not, folks, we've dropped 10% in crude oil in just two days. I mean, that's a, that's a monster move. We've gone from uh, just about uh, 65.27 down to 59.25, uh, exactly 10%, six handles. So that's a big, big move. So that's going to be interesting whether it can hold this level that we're at right now. So I hope that uh, helps you as long as what we're watching some of these things. But it's relatively important to spend a little time doing that. It doesn't look like I'm going to be able to have uh, – Tom on Tom Hugard on tomorrow because uh, he is still traveling and doesn't seem to uh, be in the office as of yet. But as soon as he's back, I'm sure he will join us on a Friday. And we'll also have uh, David Paul on uh, very soon also. So let's keep in mind that uh, that's what we're watching here. And uh, we'll keep a uh, close eye on some of this stuff just to see what we'll have. Uh, Hold on one second here. Uh, hold on one second here. Uh, okay, bear with me here for one second, folks. I have to do something. All right, let's move on here. Folks, uh, we mentioned that, you know, there's a possibility that these stocks could melt up. Um, this would be a historical, and, it, you know, there's certainly a possibility of that. But, uh, you know... History says that that's not what's going to happen because markets that extend like this are uh, usually uh, uh, going to be, uh, you know, what goes up must come down, that type of thing. But remember, there's a big difference between fear and greed. The greed markets are harder because it's a complacency. People just hang on and hang on. Fear is easier because... You know, you, you see the physical attributes of, uh, of fear. You see dilated pupils, diaphoresis or sweating, heart palpitations, chalkness around the mouth, dryness around the mouth. Oh, my gosh, I look in the mirror and there it is. <laughs> Folks, you're going to have if you're going to try to get in some of these markets, I, I have, a, I have a, a game plan that I've been thinking about for quite some time. I had to nibble at it today. I took a took a three hundred dollar loss in the Nasdaq. But uh, that's you know, that's, that's we made it. We, we did really good in gold and crude oil here these last few days. So that, that means it really means nothing. But uh, when these things start down, you're going to see historic stuff, folks. You're going to see volatility that's just, uh, it's going to even scare me. And uh, that's not easy to do. So, uh, because I've seen almost everything, as, as you can imagine, going through this. So, we'll take a little break here and we'll be right back. 877 927 6648.
I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and uh, we want to uh, end the show by selling, uh, telling us uh, what Norm was talking about, uh, this importance of these dates that's starting with uh, January 10th going into Monday. We have five uh, conjunctions out there that are going to be very, very interesting to see whether they uh, turn the corner or not. But that's it's this, it's this type of pattern with all these planets is what got me interested into the astrology stuff. And uh, I've already decided that if this one doesn't work, I will not mention astrology anymore on uh, TFNN because I feel very strongly that something big is getting ready to happen. And I, the only other time I ever did something this stupid was back in 1989. In November, I, I was writing a newsletter, Astro Cycles, and I saw something that was just monstrous. And I said, this will be on the newspaper of every newspaper in the world. This is going to be so big. And I said, if it's not, I said, I'll give everybody a free subscription to Astro Cycles for a full year. Well, it hit every newspaper, but the stocks didn't do anything. Mr. Gorbachev, tear that wall down. That was November of 89, and the market didn't do a darn thing. And uh, 
So anyway, that's uh, neither here nor there. But it was a big thing. It was the Berlin Wall. But this one is going to be big, so we'll see whether it means too much or not. So watch it. Uh, gold, I believe, has made a major top, folks, because of that 61 percent retracement and the fact that we have such very negative divergence in silver and platinum. But all that could change if we get above that 1610 level in the slightest little tweet or the little rocket's red glare, something like that. You could see these markets go crazy, especially since the Fed is pumping money into this thing like there's uh, no tomorrow. Uh, different than uh, the economics that I knew when I studied in school, but that's neither here nor there. So uh, tomorrow uh, we'll, we have a we were going to have Tom on, but he's not going to be able to join us. I don't believe if he does, he'll be on. If not, we'll have him on soon for sure. So we'll keep a close eye on that. So remember to live every day in an attitude of gratitude, uh, and may God bless and try to help out folks that have a whole lot less than you, because there's a bunch of them out there. 